Hi, this is Erika Kassab from Small Robot Studio with a quick tutorial on Nomad Sculpt, a 3D sculpting app for iPad users. Today we are revising the camera navigation. I created a scene with a cube to have a reference of what our camera is looking at. To rotate the camera, with one finger, tap the background and drag. Use two fingers to pan and pinch to zoom in or out. If you intend to rotate but tap on a mesh, you'll activate sculpting operations instead. I like to use touch gestures exclusively to move the camera and the stylus for sculpting. To avoid unwanted sculpting with my fingers, I'll go to pressure menu and scroll down to interactions and assign them to only finger and stylus. You will find more camera options on this top menu. Reset view will bring back the camera to a front view focusing on all the objects in the scene. In the bottom quick access buttons, we can do this faster with this icon. If you cannot find the icon, go to the interface menu to activate it. The next button, snap, will move the camera to the side we can see the most. Right now, we are seeing a lot of the right side view so, by snapping, now I get a perfect right view. This action is also available in the bottom quick access buttons. Again, if you want it there or no, go to the interface menu. If we activate flip on already snapped, once we are snapped to any view, tap it again and it will mirror the camera. Let's snap to a top view and snap a second time, we are now looking at the bottom. The next item in our menu is whether the camera mode is in perspective or orthographic. The latter means no perspective distortion. As for perspective, means that we will see convergence of parallel lines. FOV means field of view. The higher the number is, the more distortion we will see. Look at how the convergence of these lines increase with a high FOV. By default, it will be on 25. I don't recommend sculpting with a number higher than that. Let's go on to rotation mode. Orbit is our default. If we change it to trackball, we will have more freedom of rotating, especially because we can roll using two fingers. I prefer orbit mode as I lose control very easily with trackball. Don't forget that you can reset your camera if your rotation gets too crazy. The next section, speed, will accelerate or decelerate the camera movements. To carry on, I need to show you two relevant gestures. Double tap on any part of an object and the camera will focus on it and the point that you tapped. If nothing happened, it is because in this menu this option was not active. Let's make sure the next option is active as well. Select an object and double tap the background. This will shift the focus of the camera to whatever was selected. I can also select something from this menu and try again. If we go back and deactivate it, when we double tap the background, the camera will bring to sight all the objects in my scene. Finally, this bit that we skipped, pivot. The pivot is this pink dot that shows up when we are moving our camera. It's a reference for our camera's rotation pivot. It's always in relation to the objects in my scene. By default, the location of the pivot is updated by double tapping on the model. Or, use two finger gestures on top of an object and the pink dot will show up between your fingers. We can limit how this pivot updates with these two options, although I find it easier to keep them active. If you rather get rid of this pivot, deactivate it inside display settings, show small dot. Alright, I'll see you soon with a new tool in this Nomad Sculpt series. Happy sculpting! That's it for this tutorial. If you find it useful, make sure that you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we are bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord and more by clicking in the link below.